serious victims of bullying. What happened and how did it affect your life? I still think a guy is joking when they say they find me attractive. Yo same and it's not that anyone really bullied me about anything as far as it of but for some reason I can't believe that I guess it kind of has to do with my dad cause I'm kind of chubby. Man I'm sorry it hurts a lot worse when it's your own family say that type of speep. I ended up losing a lot of weight before high school so guys finally stopped making it a joke to tell me their buddies liked me. When I lose weight that is why I can't go out with people who know me before I lost weight because now it that they're into me because I'm more fit. Yeah people kinda change after you lose the weight. I. About to be 23 and I'm still insecure about some speep when I was 14 and it how to get over it. At this point. You're likely the only person in the universe thinking about that speep. There's video of me getting knocked out at 15 years old and an embarrassing video of me dry humping a pillow when I was 14 there somewhere on Facebook. I'd keep flagging those videos until they disappeared. But honestly. Those don't sound too terribly bad. Mildly embarrassing. But tame when compared to the vicious speep teenagers post today. Yet I suppose so. I had a rough time back then I regretted even being in social media. I would never give a kid a phone because I'm haunted by that speep. It sucks that I'm a grown ass man worried about stuff from nine years ago. I try to tell myself that the more the years pass the less embarrassing those videos will be. All I can remember is the speep people would say about me in the comments. Hopefully I can laugh at it one day. Well I now enjoy video games and talking to people anonymously more than going out and meeting people. I have social anxiety. Which is included in the generalized anxiety package. Yet. Yeah. Beep those times. I grew up being bullied by not only my peers but also by family members. I still have incredibly low self-esteem. I have a hard time dating anyone. And I basically refuse to take compliments from people because I'm afraid they'll just tell me they're joking anyway. It's been rough. I'm 25 and still trying to deal with speep from my teenage years. I'm 51 and am still unpacking speep from my teens. Hell over the pandemic I realized the worst of the bullying came from my own family. And yet. It has taken me decades to recover any self-esteem. But hey they wouldn't have teased me if they didn't like me right? I was bullied as a teenager. I had crooked teeth. Bushy eyebrows and dark circles around my eyes. I was also anemic so I was so pale. They called me zombie. Witch girl and other hurtful things. I got braces in college and worked out and a lot of guys started complimenting me. Which I always thought was another prank. It took me years to love and accept myself and to not let myself seek attention from other men. I was so desperate for love and attention that I allowed myself to be abused by an ex. And to be the side chick of another. I'm doing okay now. Though. Glad you're doing good now. My peers weren't bullies but they made it clear they didn't care about me slash I had no friends. My brother was the one that would bully me during our childhood so I grew up not having any friends and having no one to trust in my family. With that said I still think I had a good childhood seeing as I was never physically abused or anything but I still have very little trust for others. It was like this and like this. I was bullied in middle school and in high school. My experiences were not severe. Or at least I didn't think they were. I was confident in myself and wasn't concerned with what they said, thought, or did. I ignored those people and found a group of friends that meant a lot to me. And I actually enjoyed most of high school. I don't want to say what happened. But I'm currently homeschooled. Have been to three public schools and they didn't work out. Been into the psych ward and now am deeply insecure and suicidal. I won't ask if you're okay. Because you're clearly not. 
so I just hope that you know that there are people who care about you and we're all here for you if you need us. That truly means so much to me. Thank you so much. 3. I was already pretty isolated before the bullying but it sure made my year to go out to dinner and have them as my server till they hid in the kitchen and they had to have someone else serve me. Was an amazing experience besides the slow service because the obvious dead weight the other staff had to carry. My friends used to bully me for my body. I had anorexia 13 years old and dark circles. Now I can't eat normally and still falling for insufficience of iron. No time to relay a whole story but as a young guy and being very skinny and nerdy and socially inept I was constantly getting picked on by all the his who seemed so confident and cool. And for the most part athletic. They all played hockey and football and had cool bike and whatnot. I maintained content with a few but never ever forgot how they made me feel. So now I take secret pleasure when any of them have health issues or marriage troubles or have speepty jobs. I feel a little bit guilty about it. But just a little. I had suffered a lot. I have OCD and I never really understood my repetitive compulsions. Tick likes and I always looked so tired and apathetic. When I got angry because they were joking me I started to say everything I could and avoid them. The teacher insisted that I should integrate but I didn't want to. Once I got so angry because I was sick and tired about a girl always calling me names. I called her so many names and everyone went apes peep. This made me even more angry because they could insult me and I could not defend myself. So I became extremely aggressive and avoided everyone. Years later I feel okay. My OCD is being treated but I think I need to have talk therapy about bullying. I still dream. Feel awful and angry to the point of desiring revenge. When I was in the fifth grade I started to get kinda overweight and kids started to bully me about it. So I would sit on the bus trying to choke myself with my belt. Unsuccessful due to my wide body. So I would try to stop eating. Then eventually I got skinnier. Then the kids made fun of me again because I had lost all of that weight so I punched the main guy as hard as I could and got expelled. Now I feel insecure about everything and don't talk to people. Just sit in my room playing games and working out. Something I dealt with in my early adult years was being overweight. I went through some difficult times and it wasn't as if others were bullying me. But instead I was sorta of bullying myself on my own mind. Being so hard on myself and finding excuses on why I couldn't lose the weight. Then I met my best friend and he started treating me like someone worthy of love and compassion. Then some three years later. Without no real intent had lost 70 pounds. My friends and family who I haven't seen in this year saw me and asked me how I lost the weight and my reply was that I just started loving myself again. I've had many family and friends who have struggled with weight loss and they said thank you for sharing with them what I did to lose my weight. The key is having enough love for yourself and having the support system from people who holds you accountable for your own actions. There's a difference between bullying and constructive criticism for those you care about. Aloha from Hawaii. My father actually sat me down and discussed the things he went through so by second grade when someone tried to say something I was just like is that it. There was some light bullying from peers throughout my schooling but my mom was the worst. Dad didn't know to prepare me for that mess. Still working through the BS she implanted in my brain but have gone LC and my son is very well adjusted so far. I have learned to avoid anyone that makes me feel worse through their words slash actions. Just drop them. Now if you screwed up and they are mad that is something different. Take responsibility. Not abuse. I probably have a little more paranoia than the average person and I like to be alone most of the time in my personal life. Professionally. I feel like it's all fake and people will turn on me in an instant but I keep up with the status quo. 
This girl would call me a whore and a slut and unlovable BC I have bigger boobs than her and that I had a lot of guy friends and this went on from 5th grade and still now in 8th grade. She would call me those names and not say Jack Speep back but in 6th grade I went to the counselor's office about 3 to 4 times a week because of her. Sometimes when I'm on the phone with a buddy at like 1 to 3 in the M I just start saying sorry for the littlest things and eventually start crying BC of the things that girl would call me. I still haven't stood up to her even though I really need to but I don't know how. I'm good at sticking up for other PPL but when it comes to sticking up to myself it what to do. So Tiana if or reading this thanks for making me body conscious. I'm still insecure about my looks. I always think that people are joking when they say that I am attractive. I'm only confident enough to post pictures of myself when I wear a lot of makeup and use filters. I was suicidal for a long time started when I was 12. I'm 19 now and I'm better now and I really feel better with the masks now since people can't see like 70% of my face. Tried to commit suicide survived only to try again and survive again. Anyway bullying sucks. I have very bad trust issues and I'm very insecure about my body and the things that I own.